What's up, New World friends? I'd like to share with you tips and tricks that I've learned in over 2,000 hours of gameplay. Tip number one isn't something that I learned, but rather something I think will be very beneficial when you start playing. Pick your archetype based on skills that you would like a boost in, rather than the weapon you would like to use. The boost to 50 aptitudes far outweigh any benefit you get by choosing a class based on the weapons you like, or because you can swap weapons at any time to change playstyles. Weapons drop very frequently for mobs, you can also be crafted easily as you level your professions. I would much rather be able to be level in 50 in such as things as arcana, armor smithing, mining, etc. than worrying about my starting weapons. The second tip is every time that you get a territory standing point, you should pick either gathering speed or storage space. If you're into decorating your house, you can also pick up housing item limit increases. The least valuable of all of these perks is the XP gain perk, as you will be at level cap by just doing some tasks and finishing the main scenario quests. Leveling is extremely quick in this game. Here's where the gameplay tips start with tip number three. On the way to the first quest, pick up five flint and five greenwood. The flint lie on the ground and the greenwood come from a bush. When you get to the first quest, there's a campfire where you can go ahead and craft your gathering tools. Craft all of them and equip to get a leg up on the people waiting to do them in the further quests. That way, whenever you find things like boars, you can skin them immediately. If you find some herbs, you can harvest them. If you find any iron ore, you can mine it. And trees, you can chop them down. So just to give you a little bit of a boost instead of waiting to do them one by one. Because you can do any of that stuff right away. You can also cook food at the same time. This leads into tip number four. Harvest everything you see, such as herbs, skins from any beast type creature, and iron nodes that you see along the way. You can skip rocks and trees there everywhere. You'll have storage in every town so you can store so much stuff that you are better off gathering it and saving it for later. Especially if you find like elemental moats or elemental creatures, go ahead and grab those too. This will be very useful later. And not having it when you need it is far worse than having it and then storing it wherever you want to. If you'll be playing New World Eternum and want more videos like this, then please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell like you're hitting that opium bite. Also let me know in the comments if you're going to be playing New World Eternum tomorrow or in the following weeks. On with the tips to tip number five. Immediately craft a better set of iron gathering tools when you get to your first settlement. These new iron tools will boost gathering speed and will possibly have perks on them for gathering yield, or better yet in the early levels, Azoth extraction. You will need Azoth a good deal in early game to teleport to shrines, as well as boost crafting perks. You can also sell tools for those that would rather just speed level and ignore crafting. A good way to make coin early in the game. Tip number six is to check the town boards for quests and crafts as soon as you reach a settlement. They are a great way to level. You can also see what other people may want to buy based on what's on the crafting boards. Complete them early. Actually, don't, many times the items needed are things like potions or certain types of fish, and things that you can get just to help other people and maybe make some cash. This leads directly into tip number seven. Fishing is a good way to make some money early in the game. Many fish such as salmon or tadpole are used for town board quests like I was talking about earlier. And you can harvest uh, some of the consumables from the fish as well like slime oil or fish oil. You'll use those for cooking or arcana. You can also sometimes fish up treasure chests, which will contain gems that can be used for jewel crafting or to make cut gems or the slots on weapons and armor. Tip number eight is you shouldn't worry much at all about your gear until you get into the first dungeons. Up until that point, you can pretty much wear any mob drop gear as long as you prioritize stats to cater towards your unique play style. Stat food is also not important until later in the game as well. However, they will become very important, especially with PvP later. Potions, however, and basic rations, which are easily crafted, will be more useful in early levels. So the ninth tip, to save money, you can easily use the Arcana Station to craft health and mana potions. All you need is some water, which is gathered in lakes and streams. Even some towns have a stream in them. Or you can have, sometimes there'll be a well that you can gather it from. With, along that line, you should also milk the cow in every town. And then also get bullish cobs which are plentiful around lakes and streams. You also want to use some meat dropped from wolves and boars to craft basic rations at the cooking station, which give a slight regen out of combat. Craft these at a cooking station, easy way to save money, and you can also sell them to other players. Tip number 10. Don't worry about the season pass, as you can't actually start it till level 25 anyway, and you have basically three months to complete it, and it gets easier to spam tasks as your level increases. Plus, most of the rewards are useless into a higher level, especially artifacts and such because you can't even equip them until past level 60. Number 11 is the most important tip of all. Have fun, as this is just a game and meant for entertainment purposes. I hope you found these tips helpful, and I'll see you in many more videos to come. Have fun in New World Eternal.